What's up guys, it's your boy Metrifter, also known as Luke Santos Patala, and welcome to another part of my Disney's Tarzan action game walkthrough HD revamp series. I think I keep switching the name over and over in every part, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, last part we did level 8, which was with Turk, we made chaos, we destroyed the camp, sort of. But now it seems that the people who actually occupied the camp are moving. Because there is something happening, there is some commotion in the camp, so Tarzan is actually going to go there to surprise Jane, but hmm, who knows what we'll find. So without further ado, let's get to it. So as you can see, 100% uh, for all the previous levels that we've done, 61% total completion rate, but we're going to get this up to 100% by doing level 9 right now. So let's get to it. And here we are, we are in the level, and already we can choose either to go left or right. We're gonna go take the left path because, well, coins. And also I can't seem to hit this guy. Ugh. It's kind of weird the way Tarzan moves, like he's doing his front flips and then suddenly he's like, oh, nope, gotta throw this fruit, but whatever. Also, there is probably, I think there is, yeah, there's no knife in this level. This is because we don't really have enemies in this level. May sound strange, because there are people we have to avoid, but you don't necessarily have to kill anyone. Well, I just killed that whatever it was, but that was just with fruit. I mean, it's harmless, right? But no, no knife this time. Hmm, kind of strange. Here we are, first sketch though. We are already progressing through the collectibles right here. One letter, one sketch. Let's, uh, we can drop ourselves down from here, I think. Yeah, we can. Back at the beginning, and then let's go and progress through the level. Whew, random pit there. Kinda, kinda dangerous if you ask me, if you have a camp around. And then suddenly there's a pit, especially during the night. Would not be, well, it could be practical, but you just have to know there's a pit there, you know? Just have to know. So everything seems happy, look at the birds. We're jumping on stuff, it's all happy dappy days in here, and all the swines are just running around. It's just lovely and cute since they left the tent with infinite spawn of swines. Just look at them, so cute. I think you can even can you even hit them? Let's try it out. Nope. These guys are immune to fruit. I think they have developed a new species of swine. Hoo -hoo. Let's continue, and of course, again, boxes, if they shake, just break them. In this case, we had a mango inside, which is pretty nice. And see, these guys, you don't really have to kill them, but they will get in your way if you don't. Like, you can just, as you can see with the fruit, you can change direction. So I want him to go this way so that he gets out of my way. Same with this guy, I'm like, nope, reject it, and then just go over there. First, I didn't know if the fruit had any effect, but now I learned that, oh, it changes direction. Okay. So it's pretty good, you don't necessarily have to get damage, so that's pretty nice. Same here, yo, just go the other way, would ya? And let's see, does he leave the path? He doesn't, that's kind of unfortunate, so we might have to jump over him. He can do that. Get that coin. And if the guy comes here, I'm like, nope, reject it. Go over there, would you? And then jump over him, and this is the way you will not get damage. Not trying to do a no damage run here, but you know, it's just, it's just the way it is. And this is something that has fascinated me for quite a long time. What is in this huge ass box, this crate, this thing? <laughs> First of all, this side up, it's upside down, so oh, they failed in that. And then second, do not feed. I'm seriously wondering what's in there. But anyways, another whip wrap with a counterweight on it this time, so wait for it. Pew! And then we can get up here and get some more collectibles and that letter, because that's all lovely and stuff. If we can get the letter, touch it, there you go. Let's check, I don't think there's anything else in here, no there's not. Excellent, then we can progress to the other section. And yes, if you want to know, if you were to stand in the, on the position where the counterweight would actually drop down, you will get hit, because getting something which acts as a counterweight on your head will probably hurt. Even Tarzan will probably get hurt from that. Just so you know. And let's see if there's anything else here. Yes, there's the letter. Again, do not feed. <laughs> oh well. Uh, alternate paths again that we can take. 
check this for another letter and then we can probably hit the safe zone i think it's probably safe to do that uh no i don't want to go here i want to go here first and then let's see nah, i think we're pretty good from there i'll just leave the bananas for what it is because i might just need them who knows because here are the infamous boxes i say inf infamous because i kind of hate these boxes like whew. like seriously i just hate them i just hate them so much I know it's very easy to, like, kind of dodge them, but eh, still. First of all, I'm gonna go here, because I know that if I do that first, it'll save me a lot of trouble later on. So, yeah. And you probably think, can you just jump in there? You could, you could easily do that, but then you get damage. It's actually, I think maybe it's easier to actually do it this way. Just be like, eh. Okay, done that. And now for the second one, just be like, eh. Oh yeah, and can you do that? Oh, no, <laughs> I didn't make that jump. Oh boy, now I'm just making things a little harder for myself because now I'm kind of tempting to like, hmm, let's do a no damage run. That would be quite a difference from a couple years ago because I think I got quite some damage in there. Anyways, there were also coins on the left, so get up here and get some more coins because you might forget them. They're quite hidden, but it's all lovely and nice. Now let's make sure I make this jump, get the bananas for no good reason, and it looks like I'm kind of glitching inside the box there, but now I turned around and I got pushed out. Maybe interesting for some people who would like to see some glitches happening. Now is this the area that I think it is? Yes it is, it's the area with the fallen boxes. And there is a pattern. So don't just think, oh, well, there's just some coins here and there. First I thought maybe it's like an infinite spawn of um, coins, or bananas, or mangoes, but this did not turn out to be the case. But still, I mean, it's pretty interesting that they threw a pattern in here, because I don't think that as a kid you would want to be here for very long. I don't think that as a kid you would be like, oh, I don't care about the coins, just, just move, just, just go, you know? But uh, no, if you want to be a completionist, you want to get that 100%, hoo -hoo, you really have to stay in the danger zone for quite some time. And I think there should be two more coins. And I think... Whoa, hello there. I think that pretty much wraps up the pattern. Yep, almost got the hit there as well. Jesus Christ. More bananas though. <laughs> as if they knew. <sighs> Let's continue. More coins. More stuffs. It's all lovely. Uh, yeah, we can break this one for a letter. That's good. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's see. Because I know the pattern, but it's just... Uh... No, I failed already. Uh, it's just, I hate this pattern so much. Like, really. It's just... It's the same thing. I just keep rushing through it. I know how to do it. It's just, it's really easy. Like, you go from here... You go there, and then you go there, and then you go there, and then you go, uh, uh, and uh, you see, I can do it. But then, it's just different. You know, it's just scary to do it like that. You see, it's just, I've learned from the past, but still not executed well. But, eh. Okay, so no damage run, that's just completely out of the window right here. That doesn't matter, we're not here for no damage run, we're here for a 100% one. So taking damage is actually okay. Get the last sketch. So that's making some progress. And bananas! You see, bananas are good. I need bananas in this level. Uh, let's see what else is there. Uh, where could we go first? I mean, does it really matter where I go first? Does that really matter? I don't think it really matters at this point, because look at that! Alternate coins, alternate paths and stuff. Yeah, I think I should actually take the outer path first. Yeah, I should, because then I can get the coins. And that's our boxes, which I'll well, just do that. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, yes. And then another box, and then, oh, hey, Jay, what's up? And then you see Clayton, and you see, and then like, oh, there's the umbrella. There's the end of the level. Let's go to it, but then you see the coin on the other side. And as a kid, I was like, huh? But, you know, you go from left to right. How do they do this? How, why do they place a coin on the right side of the end of the level? It's so mean! Until I found out a way that you can actually avoid 
um, ending the level too quickly by going from that way. Because what you have to do is go here and go there and then I make a crazy ass jump up here, get the coin, get that coin as well. And I think for the next part I have to actually go up because I had some trouble getting up this tent first. But here you go, now you're actually going over, like, over the umbrella, and now you can actually explore even further. And the first time I discovered this, I was so happy. I was like, oh, so that's what was up. That's why there were coins on the right hand side of the level. Just like, just like that. First I thought it was, I seriously thought it was like a tease or anything. But no, it actually turns out to be, it's, it's just like this. Oh well, let's see, this should be 100%. Yes, it is 100%, so let's end the level right here. Yep, as you can see, all the letters, all the sketches, 100%, 100%. Let's go save it up and let's do the unique bonus level. We are in the chase and we are with Tantor and Turk and Turk is actually dressed as Jane Why You should see the movie, maybe that'll explain a whole lot. There's also a bird there, but the bird will not hurt us. We just have to run and actually smash things together because that's the way that Tantor rolls, I guess. And don't care about these coins. Yes. So this is a sort of a chase with more coins, with some nice music as well. And this is actually one of the longer bonus levels, which is nice. Now, I mean, I think this is the longest bonus level, I'm not sure, but it all depends on how well you do, because you got to hit those boulders. If you do not hit those boulders, you will create quite a problem, or you will just not get as many coins. Maybe you cannot even finish the bonus level, which would be a shame, because I think I actually did end the bonus level on five years ago, I think I did so. Here you go, another boulder. Nice, nice, nice. More coins, more stuff. It is lovely, but only five seconds on the clock, I just noticed, but I think we should be okay. Here you go, another time mango, and another one, we're just collecting up some more time, because this bonus level just ain't over yet. More coins on the way. Whew, music is getting even more funny. Get some more coins left and right, there you go. You're awesome is actually we can do this all day because this chase scene isn't actually really that intense but hey kick-ass music though and then suddenly it ends but hey we got 200 extra coins so we got 22 lives awesome and then we're back at this screen and as you can see We've achieved another 100% for a 69% completion rate in total. And the next level will be probably my favorite level, but also one of the more tricky ones. But it probably has one of the best level design slash traps slash music slash everything. So yeah, that'll be for next time. So I want to thank you guys for watching, of course. Like your favorite if you like the content, subscribe to our channel, rake your free from upcoming videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.